Hello, welcome to Philosophy 2081, Ethics in the World of Business. The first thing you'll notice is that systematically we've called the course Philosophy 2080. Don't let that worry you. When the course, when we um, created the course in the spring, this was the number we were assigned. When they put it on the books, it became 2081. So uh, you will find it systematically right through the whole course that it has been, uh, we, we, our work is labeled 2080, but you are 2081. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the course uh, um, in, within Blackboard. Uh, there's a welcome screen here. You can watch a little video of me giving you a welcome. Uh, the course is uh, case-based, and you'll see how that works in a minute. I'll go down through the overview page, and I'll show you most of the content of the course is here in under weekly content, and I'll show you that in a minute. But meanwhile, you're on the overview page here on the left, and this is what, when you press that, this is what, we'll, what you'll see. All right, let's see if I can make this work here. Um, yeah, here we go. Um, don't forget to do this little time zone survey. I need to find out really where you are because uh, it may affect how I, uh, how I teach this course. And um, I understand some of you are in work placements and you may not be in Halifax, so uh, let me know please what, where you are. The, this is a very important part of the course. Look for the syllabus. Have a look at the syllabus under one of these headings, whichever you can open most easily and um, check through the syllabus and figure out what you have to do. Uh, I will go through the syllabus in our first meeting, so, don't, um, um, so you can ask me questions about it then, but have a look at it before our first meeting. Okay, course le learning outcomes. Here's this course tour video. It's not made yet because I'm making it right now, but this is where you will find it when, <laughs> when it's made. Uh, a little place to introduce yourself, make yourself a small web page, to say who you are, that would be interesting. And please, when you do it, say where you are, because as I say, I'm very interested in, uh, in finding out where you are, what time zone particularly. The uh, important documents are here. This is the... Um, Case, the case analysis uh, worksheet that we will be using. Uh, in, in this version of it uh, that you'll find here, it, I've filled it full of questions that you might want to ask when you're thinking about a case. Uh, you'll see the worksheet that we'll be using, you'll see it later, uh, is a little, uh, it, it doesn't have all those questions in it. It has places for you to write, write answers. There's a reference list and there's a glossary that you may find useful when you're uh, re reviewing for the final exam. And finally, a little um, netiquette video. All right, so back to the top. Uh, down the side here, there's a place for announcements, so check this when you're, uh, when, when you, um, when you're entering the course and see if there's anything has happened. Weekly content, I'm going to take you there in just a second because that's really where the heart of the course is in here under weekly content. The, also, you'll be able to access the webinars. Um, or the Blackboard Collaborate Sessions. I think the technical term is a webinar. So you will enter through here, um, go to the weekly webinars, and you will find somewhere a place to, uh, to, to enter the webinar. And, uh, I'm doing this before. I'm doing this in the student preview mode, as you can see, but you don't have access to everything at the moment So because the course is not yet turned on. So when you come back here, you'll be able to find ways to get into the, into the webinar. And you'll also find some um, information on how to use Blackboard Collaborate. Before you come to the first session, please figure out how Collaborate works. It takes you a little bit of time to get in the first time. It's a Java program. If you don't have Java enabled or up to date in your computer, you may run into trouble. Uh, Blackboard, the first time you use it, has to download a little uh, application onto your computer. Well, it's not that little. It takes a little bit of time to get downloaded. So but please use the practice rooms and um, make sure that you can get in, in order to, um, just in order to make things go carefully. Also, watch your microphone and speakers because it's possible to get feedback. You'll find um, also, coming down the left here, let's go back. Uh, this is where we... We're, we're back at the overview. See how to move around. You can navigate using this panel on the left. Uh, discussion groups. You can access some of the homework through here and some of the assessments through here. Now, the, these assessments will be um, 
also accessible through the weekly modules. So you may you may or may not use this this access route. So don't 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 worry about this yet. But have a have a look in here when you when you get a chance. The course does have a final exam. Um, it's worth um, it's worth fifty percent of the mark, as you'll see on the syllabus. You it will be taken. Uh, it's computerized. Uh, if you're not in, uh, in in Halifax, you will have to arrange for a proctor. Uh, we don't know the date yet of the, when the course will be, so that it, hopefully in the next uh, in the next few weeks, I'll or when they do the examination schedule, I'll, I will know where where the, when and where the exam is going to be. So um, if you're outside of uh, the Halifax area, you'll have to arrange for a proctor, and that uh, there's some instructions here on how to do that. You can get into discussion boards, send emails to people within the course, um, and the course dashboard is just like a regular Blackboard place, Blackboard uh, dashboard. The Blackboard help, there's some information here that you might find useful on uh, how to get the help desk, how to, various how-to videos. If you're not familiar with Blackboard, go in here and have a look at this, and some help uh, sessions here. Uh, what else have we got here? There's library resources and a course map, which is just this whole thing presented slightly differently as a tree structure. Okay, now as I say, the heart of the course is here under weekly content, and this is where you will go to access your work sessions. Each week has a content folder. So this is our first week here, this is the second week. They're called modules, I guess, but they, each we do one module a week. There are 12 of them. I believe as I give this talk, there are only six of them accessible at the moment, but uh, you'll, you'll be able to see what they look like um, uh, as you go along. Okay, so inside one of these, you will find, uh, it takes a second to load because they're quite, uh, they're quite big, you will find, first of all, the case study. Each week we have a case study. Uh, it's presented by a um, a student here. Uh, each, each case study will be presented, but you can also get the transcripts. Um, I, I wrote the transcripts. Somebody else has done. This is not me. Some other somebody. Um, Caleb has done the um, has done the uh, little bit the video. So you might you should watch that. It gives you an idea of what we're trying to the, the problem we're trying to look at. Um, learning objectives. Uh, now here is the textbook. The um, as I promised you, I think, in the introductory video, you have free access to a textbook. And each, uh, written by me, it'll be published probably in another year or two, and uh, future classes may, uh, may have to buy it. But presently, you can have it for free. Uh, you can uh, download the, uh, the PDF, uh, and uh, you can read this. Okay, so this is the theory. The textbook is mostly about theory. And we will apply the idea of the whole each week is we will be applying theory to cases. Okay, so you have to learn some theory. It's not it's you know it's it's not trivial theory. Uh, I illustrate it with lots of numbers and things. And uh, well, I like numbers. I assume you don't mind numbers, or you wouldn't be in business. So with with little models and examples and uh, yeah, anyway, you you'll read this and, and see what you, it'll give you an idea of how to approach the learning the theory of the course. You can, I suppose you can do it either way. You can either read the textbook first and then watch the videos, or watch the videos first and then use the textbook. Uh, either way around, I've made you little videos. This is me down here in the corner making a little video. Um, each, uh, each chapter is chunked into about five 10-minute lectures. People can understand 10 minute, can pay attention to 10 minute lectures in a way that they can't pay attention to hour long lectures. So please, uh, you should wa watch these and read the textbook, or read the textbook and watch these, or whatever, read, <laughs> watch them and read along in the textbook, but it, whatever, uh, whatever uh, suits your learning um, needs. Okay, so these, there's little, um, these little videos. Uh, made by me. They're mostly PowerPoint presentations with me in the corner, and I, I have a markup system so I can write all over them while, I, while I'm going along. I hope you enjoy them. So let's uh, let's go down here. This this last bit, in a way, the heart of the course is here. This is applying uh, theory to cases, and this is a pay attention to this particular uh, case study uh, lecture. It's a little longer than the others. You can find the the notes. The notes for each uh, lecture, set of lectures, are published as um, uh, 
a PDF file. I think it's four slides to the page. You may find it useful to download the notes and then use them to follow along with the lectures. Uh, again, you, you, you have your own style. Uh, I do think it is actually useful to have to take to take notes. It, it'll help you pay attention to the lectures. So either follow along with the notes, follow along in the textbook, work out a way of doing it. Now each theory chapter has some theory homework, and there's a I don't know of the order of 30 multiple choice questions, and they're to help you understand and apply the concepts of the uh, of each uh, uh, of each theory module. Okay, and you, so you do the theory homework, and then you go down here every week. You take a weekly quiz, and you'll see it in the syllabus. You have there's a ten questions drawn randomly from this just to test that you've done it. It, to my mind, keeps you up to date. These quizzes close um, at the end of each week, half so the the um, before the the just before we discuss the uh, the case in 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 class. So this this weekly quiz you will find will close. I think it's the. Uh, uh, not this, the, in the in the uh, second week of term, so, uh, so uh, um, you can follow along and, and, and keep up with the syllabus. There's also a um, a um, a file or a set of um, folders he um, here that, that give you some optional stuff. You might enjoy these. I hope you will. There's a little. I, I really suggest these little activities. It's uh, they're. It's from a philosophy experiments website, and it enables you to um, work your way through ethical puzzles, get some practice in ethical reasoning, compare what you're doing to uh, what other people do, and uh, they're, they're actually quite fun. Uh, they only take five or ten minutes, so it's not a, it's not a big thing. The you can watch TED talks. These are mostly um, um, social psychologists and behavioral economists talking about uh, facets of morality. Uh, I'm Again, up to you. Uh, I, enjoy, uh, I think you'll uh, you might enjoy them. This is a little more of a serious commitment. There's a set of lectures available on the web: 12 55-minute lectures on ethical reasoning, done at Harvard University by a professor named Michael Sandel, who's like a superstar professor. And the, these are well worth watching if you have the time and want to really uh, cement your understanding of the ethical concepts in the uh, in the course. Uh, so uh, and the the thing they're actually really surprisingly entertaining. You can watch Harvard students asking questions in a huge lecture hall and watch his responses. And at the same, it's um, uh, well, uh, I really rethink you should uh, you should try one in the first week when you have time. Try one of these, and if you like it, try and keep up with them because I've got an episode each week for the twelve weeks of our course. And if you do this, you'll have a much better understanding. I think a much deeper understanding of the ethical concepts that we're working with. All right. See if I can find my way back to weekly content. Uh, I should also I should show you also that um, every after three weeks of um, of um, modules, that you'll find review tests, and I've I'm tr I've highlighted the, the review tests and the weekly quizzes. In um, here's the weekly quiz down here. They're generally in green, I think, or blue. So there's the weekly quiz, and up here is. Uh, the review test. Don't forget to do these, right? They're worth marks. They close. You have to. Uh, they they close at the end of each uh, of each uh, theory module. You have to. Ha this will be on the. F this is in module four, but it will examine you on the first three weeks, and it'll help you remember the concepts. So by all means, uh, well, don't forget them. I'll pr um, because you, you have to do, in the way it's set up, I think you, you get your best three out of four. So if you forget to do one, you're not in trouble yet, but then you're down to three. You mustn't forget another one. So make sure you do these. Make sure you keep up. All right. So really, I think that's it. This is how the course works. We work our way down through the weekly content. Each week there will be a case study, and we will meet on Blackboard to discuss the case study. In Blackboard, collab in Blackboard Collaborate, and in Blackboard Collaborate, I will break you into groups. You can fill out the uh, the worksheet on the study. We'll come back together. We'll discuss it. We'll make sure people have used ethical concepts correctly. We'll go through it and see if there aren't better ideas than what's in people's uh, work. And so the group work, I'll bring the group work all together, and we'll we'll, we'll have a look at it. All right. So uh, enjoy the course, and uh, that's it for now. <laughs>